A second example for number problems. The difference of two numbers is 11. Twice one number is six more than the other. When we talk about the difference of two numbers is 11, that's a hook, so that should set us up by starting on the bottom. And I'm gonna use W here. I get tired of using the same letter. Uh, the difference of two numbers is 11, and that means the top number should be W plus 11. And as I described before, when you do a difference, we see a plus in there, and notice that I put the larger number on the top, so that if I go W plus 11 minus W, the result would just be 11, because the W's would cancel out. I've established my declared variables, so I move on to the equation. It says twice one number. Again, pretty straightforward. We go two times one. Twice one number is, means equals, six more than, means that I want to come down here, I'm going to shift over and say plus six, six more than the other number. No multiplication there. Uh, so I have my broken English. Twice one number is six more than the other number. I'm going to plug the expressions in and solve. This will be two times w plus 11 equals w plus 6. I'll distribute. As I distribute, we can say 2w plus 22 equals w plus 6. I think I'll move this w to the left and the 22 to the right, being sure to change the signs of everything that you move. So I'll say 2w minus w equals 6 minus 22. 2w take away a w is w, and 6 take away 22 is negative 16. Once I have established these answers, I can go back up to the top here. This is negative 16. If I add 11 to negative 16, I get, what is that, negative 7? No, not negative 7, 5. Negative 5. That's a little bit better. And so my answers would be 1 is negative 5, and other is negative 16. Uh, I do have a note in here that talks about when you switch these things around. When we talk about example 5, that was the previous example if you're following this in chronological order, when you do the sum of two numbers, it doesn't matter if you swap these words, you know, right for left, other for one, and one for other. You can swap those out. You get the same set of answers. On a difference problem, however, like number six here, if I were to switch these words out, I do come up with a completely different set of answers, and you do have to watch that. Um, uh, if you don't follow my words when I say one number and other number, then that could create a different set of numbers, a different set of results. Uh, the other thing you want to watch out for, when we declare variables here and I start talking about a larger or smaller value, common sense dictates that 1 has to be larger. W plus 11 has to be larger than W. With the sum problems, it doesn't matter. That's a student choice. And I believe I did mention that when we went over the introduction to number problems. Uh, once again, our answers here were negative 5 and negative 16.